A quick little intro before we get into the video. I'm trying to post every day. That's why I'm having these garage talks. Uh, the better by the days, I only work out five days a week. So I need to find something for the other two days. And that's what the garage talks are going to be. So from now on, I think it's Friday and uh, Monday are going to be garage talks. The rest of the days are better by the day. So that's just a quick little update and I hope you enjoy. All right, what's going on guys? This is garage talk. Just talk through some stuff, talk through some shop, life, lifting, whatever it may be. Um, there's no specific topic tonight. There's just a couple things that I feel like I would like to address or need to be addressed. The first one being, so the other day I'm at the gym, I'm working out, I'm getting a pretty good workout in and I look over and there's this kid in there, right? I'd say pretty young, maybe 15, 16 years old. He's in there with his dad. He's got a big, big old cast on his arm, man. The guy has the guy has straps around his cast and around the other arm doing curls. And I'm just sitting there. I'm sitting there on, a, I think I was on the leg press at the time, just thinking, how motivating is this, bro? This young kid, this kid maybe playing high school sports, who knows what he's doing, is in here with a band around his arm hanging down doing curls with a cast on he has probably a broken arm and i'm just sitting here thinking i got people like coming in here telling me about form and this and that you got to have the perfect form to work hard like you, you need the perfect form to grow this kid this kid can't even do the exercise normal one of the most common exercises is a curl the one everyone the one you think everyone knows how to do this kid's got a cast on doing it with a band and i'm just sitting there like that's what it's about that's what it's about. It's about just showing up and doing whatever you can, what, however you enjoy it, however it's going to happen, however you're going to move forward in the process. It's not about going in there and having the perfect form and doing it the way that some influencer model tells you to do it because he looks good and you know, whatever that that's not how, it, that's not how it works, dude. And 90, 90% of the stuff that you see and it's like, Oh, this is how I got my big chest. This is how I got my big arms. That's all BS. Yes, that might be a small little proportion of it, a small little part of it, but that's not that's not how they got there. It's everything else. And the first thing that it starts with is the hard work. You're never going to go anywhere without the hard work. So that was just the first thing that I was thinking about that showed up and inspired me. And the thing is, is when it comes to especially health and fitness and creating a sculpture-like body, the work is so much harder than anything than anything you can really think of. And trust me, I played sports for a long time. I knew a lot of guys that played sports for a long time. The bodybuilding aspect in sculpting a body in a lot of sense is harder than that because you don't leave the gym and it ends. You know, like I played baseball. I was, I, I was really enjoyed baseball. I really enjoyed basketball. You know, you go in there, you shoot your threes, you put your work in, you leave the gym, it's over. Like you leave the gym, that's it. Weight room, hoops, whatever it may be. With bodybuilding and scoping the perfect physique, you go home and it's the sleep, it's the eating, it doesn't stop. You need a consistent sleep schedule. There are no Saturday nights staying out till 4 a.m. because that doesn't work. It ruins your muscle building process. It ruins the process that you have started to try to achieve your goals and move on to that next level. Like none of that stuff happens, man. When you're when you're trying to be perfect and accomplish something in the health and fitness world physique wise it takes so much more even in baseball you know you go into the cage you get those swings and you get ready for the game and then like over the weekend or whatever you can kind of do what you want like the diet doesn't really have to be there like all this stuff that doesn't really matter like i, I you always see that sorry i cut out there for a second but yeah this dk metcalf thing like this guy just eats a bunch of candy and has one meal a day and that's how he achieves what he has achieved there's so much more to it than that and i don't want to make assumptions about the guy and so i'm not going to but I, I, it's so misleading and you see that because people then think that you can achieve anything close to what he's achieved doing that and it just it's not possible you need to be able to work harder than you've ever imagined before and be willing to do it and at the end of the day that's just what it comes down to I mean this was just a short little garage talk today but these are just some things that I've been thinking about this week I've been feeling a little passionate about so we'll do a quick little quick little check right here I've been feeling pretty good um I got these new uh, tank tops and I feel like they fit pretty well. But um, yeah, man, just keep working hard, guys. Good things are coming. Um, yeah, just keep working hard and remember that, man. It's going to be so much harder than you thought it was going to be, but the reward's going to be so much greater than you thought it would be. So just keep pushing hard every day, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.